Hey guys, okay, so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to draw fishnet stockings because one of my friends, um, hey Patty, um, was asking if I could show her how I do it. So, um, this might be helpful to other people. Hope I can do this with one hand while I'm um, filming, but here it goes. So, this is just a basic rough drawing of an outfit. And you can start wherever you want, the bottom or the top or the middle, whatever. But so what I do is I start drawing diagonal lines all the way down. And I like to make my fish nets pretty tight knit. Um, so I can make my lines pretty close. And as you're drawing up, you might actually make your lines wider, you know, by accident. But that's okay because you can always draw more lines in between. But you can also draw them a lot wider if you're going for that type of fishnet look. But I prefer, like I said, the tighter knit. So as you see how I'm doing it, I'm just going all the way up the leg. Or as far as you want them to go. If you wanted to make like stockings, you can just cut off there and do exactly what you want. See how those... Are a little bit wider there but it'll all blend together once I get the other side going I've been doing this for a long time and so I don't know I just started doing it one day and it came together so there you have the one part of your fishnets so now what you want to do is probably start off from the same place that you started. It would just be easier. And you want to start drawing diagonal lines over the top of it in the opposite direction. See? They're just going up and you keep going up the leg and see it with a nice fishnet pattern that's making it's just really fun to design clothes and outfits when you're drawing and just add the extra gothy flair if you will to it I'm getting a little nervous with my lines. I gotta slow down and not take your time with it too. Don't rush it. Because if you rush it, you're gonna mess up. See, I messed up a little bit there, but no biggie. And you can even like make holes in them. Um like I've planned where I made a hole in it before. Like let's say I'm gonna make a hole in the knee. And just make a like a little hole right there. And then I start my fishnet lines around that hole. I try to kind of connect them as well as you can. Um, yeah. It's a little bit more difficult, but if that's the look you're going for, I'll just do a little bit more on on top here. On the bottom. So then it's a little more difficult, but you're still getting the same effect. But you got a little hole in your stockings. Make it just look a little more edgier, you know. See? And you can make all different kinds of shapes or holes and things. So then you could do the same thing if you were to wear, I mean, have like sleeves. Um on something. I haven't inked this yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So once again, I'm not going to do the whole arm, but I'm just going to give you an idea of what it will look like. Starting at the wrist and just going up. And then going over with the lines, 
So I'm just stopping right there so you can get the idea. I'm sorry, my camera's like really freaking out. Okay, you can get the idea of uh, the mesh and fishnet sleeve there. And then like you could even do that with like say she was wearing like she's got a crop top on and she's got like a little mesh from like it's a whole shirt underneath the crop top. So that um, is poking out. And the same concept, it's just a little different because this body part is in a different direction. And these you can go a little wider, um, like I said, depending on whatever style you're going for. But obviously if it's part of that shirt, you kind of want to match um, how wide you're going to do your lines. Yeah, so there you go. That's how you draw fishnets, or at least how I draw fishnets. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Thank you.